That is a super hit, boy. Hey guys, it's me, Bob Sagu Oi. Welcome to this episode and welcome to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, give yourselves a big up. If you're not, make sure you subscribe by the end of this video. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a chart topping Afrobeat banger. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Bob Sagu Oi. Before we dive into today's episode, once again big up to everyone showing mad support for these tutorials and for the releases during lockdown. Gal Dildi is still flying high in the charts, being played across radio stations all over the world, so big up to yourselves and look forward to the brand new release dropping in a matter of weeks, Dig Dig 2020. So make sure you keep in check with my social media to find out when that bomb is dropping. Initially this episode was supposed to be a breakdown of a lo-fi boom bap type of beat however whilst looking through my hard drive I came across these vocals that I had recorded for a track that I did last year. I wasn't entirely happy with the outcome of the track hence it didn't get an official release so instead of making a lo-fi boom bap beat I made a chart topping banger. Here are some vocals of two talented singers Aman Taliwal and Prab Ubi this is the cover version of Kurti Malamaldi. Kise bahane aave haaniya, na saanu tad paave haaniya, na karun dal gheer, kudti malamaldi, vichu papha chadde sarir, kudti malamaldi. Pahila kudi ye nahi si jaan di, kaad ke kaal ja lagi haan di, hok kar gi kaal karar, kan vich gal kar gi, ik patli narm jai naar, kan vich gal kar gi. Before I break down the version I produced this morning, this is the version I produced last year. Let me know what you think. And here comes the drop. This is how I made the banger. The initial track was produced at 96 BPM. I decided to make this version a little faster at 105. I used the flex time function in Logic to speed up my vocal. To activate the flex time function, you click this button here and then switch on flex time on your track. As this is a mono vocal, we're gonna select monophonic. Now, if you hold down the mouse button at the end of the track, press Alt, you can stretch your vocal and put them in time. This is what a vocal sounds like now at 105 BPM. Yeah, faster's better. In terms of vocal treatment, I added a channel EQ, notched out the bottom end and the extreme top, and some unwanted frequencies. On top of that, I added an autotune, a G sharp minor. Then I added a CLA vocal compressor. To give it that final bite, I use this compressor called Butch Vig Vocals. Finally, I added a delay and a reverb. How crisp do those vocals sound? I did pretty much the same treatment for the male vocal by Prab Ubi. Once I had my vocal sounding crisp, I played a series of keys. As we're making the summer banger, I'm going to use my favorite plugin, you may know, Chromophone. I then copied that track down and selected a plug in Serum. I then selected a synthetic piano in EZ keys and played these chords. To add some more impact on the I selected a piano using addictive keys. And for the final part of my key work, I played three pads, again using Serum, and bounced the files in place. All 
hold together our keys in our main section sounds something like this. Yo, that's wavy, wavy. Once I was happy with the key section, I moved on to the drums. I first played my kick using Ultra Beat. I then added my percussion snares. Some claps. Closed and open hats. Some hi-hat triplets. To top it up, I added a few percussion shuffles, reverse cymbals and crashes. Next, our bass line. I selected a simple synth bass using Alchemy called Backlash. Applied a channel EQ, an overdrive and another favourite plugin of mine called Sausage Fatner. Yes, Sausage Fatner. Such a banger. Once I had the main body of my beat, I dissected a few samples from an old version. I sampled this mandolin. To give it that radio effect, I applied a channel EQ and a sample delay. Underneath that, I used a Sarangi Sa from my sample library. I then merged the Sarangi, mandolin, played a few piano chords, bounced it down, reversed it to get this. To accompany that, I layered it with an additional sample. Ooh, that's Yo, that's hard. You know, a Bupsugu summer banger isn't complete without vocal chops. I created these vocal chops using Oman's vocals. Simple treatment, I added a channel EQ, notched a huge section up from the bottom and the top, added an auto-tune, CLA vocals, Butchvig vocals, a lovely, lovely plugin called Effectrix, and sound shifted the whole thing up by one octave. Then using Splice, I found three samples, chopped them up, chopped them up. and made this arrangement. The icing on the cake and to make things interesting throughout the track I use these series of sweeps, rises, fills and build ups. And I think that's it. Now if we play all our elements together on the chorus. <laughs> We can't forget our lead break now, can we? For the lead break, I decided not to use an instrument or play anything. Instead, I took Oman's vocals, chopped them up, um, dropped the pitch by 12 semitones, and added effects tricks to get this bad boy. <laughs> That is a banger, 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 banger. In the next verse, we introduce the male vocal by Prab Ubi. And once again, we have a breakdown on the chorus into our drop. For the last chorus, I did the Bups the Goose special, stripped everything back and had that eclectic moment. And that's how you make a chart-topping banger.
It's still work in progress. I wanna play around with the beat a little, maybe add a feature, I'm not too sure, but we are on the road to making a chart topping anthem. If you like this episode and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay notified every time I upload a new video. From myself, Bob Sagooi, thank you for joining me. Remember to stay safe, stay alert. Until next time, peace. Everybody, 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 everybody